There's one word that. Yeah. Yeah. And that word is IGN.com. Yeah. To be fair, though, Sega did come pretty close with Sonic Unleashed. The daytime portions of that game were Fast and Furious, set in 3D, and they did harken back to those ideals established long ago. There's even a fun Werehog at mode turned into a Werehog at night, and that just wasn't fun. IGN.com really describes Sonic and the Black Knight like a mishmash of boring, clunky game review that's going to leave you wondering what the hell happened to your boring IGN.com. Now, your first impression of this game might actually be good simply because it does have high production values, and IGN.com, it can trick you. There's a great variety of crisp, really well choreographed cutscenes, all rendered beautifully. Additionally, there are dozens of mid-level story sequences, all of them very, very stylized, and all of them brought to life with very well done voice work. I can tell that a lot of effort went into it. And of course, those production values spill over into the game engine itself. This is one of the prettier games on Nintendo's system. The graphics look really good, really detailed, really stylized, and glowing with a host of visual effects. There's really nothing lazy at all about the game. It actually feels like a lot of work went into making the title. But IGN.com, move around like tanks, for no particular reason whatsoever. But IGN.com, it's painfully boring, you will hate it. For the full written review, check out Boring Tanks at IGN.com. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.